Bonjour mesdames et messieurs, in this episode I show you the full retouching of one of my favorite photos in Paris and also how to erase elements on a photo which are difficult to do. Bonjour mesdames et messieurs and welcome to episode 97 of my photography Lightroom and Photoshop tips. Mon nom is Serge Ramelli, I am a French photographer living in Paris, France. And welcome to my show. In last episode, I showed you how to use a Sony a7R and do long exposure without using a tripod and without using a filter. Check it out. Even if you don't have a Sony a7R, the tips and tricks still applies. It's, you know, really about urban landscape. This week, I'm going to show you the full retouching of one of my favorite photos of Paris. This is the final result. And there is some elements in that photo, like garbage cans and graffitis, which really distracted the message from that photo. And I'll show you some little tips and tricks how to erase that, plus the full retouching. Also, I'm gonna give you that photo and the raw files for free so that you can do it at home and see it for yourself. Last but not least, it's Valentine's Day. And for Valentine's Day, we are doing something very special. If you buy any course from my store until Sunday night, you get one for free of the same value or less. One course bought, one course for free. I give you all the details and the tutorial right now. All right, guys, so just before I show you the tutorial, as I told you in the intro, I'm doing a special happy Valentine's Day for four days, three hours, 20 minutes, and 16 seconds. You can buy a course and get one free. All you have to do is click on the banner, which is here, uh, put in your name, your email, you choose the, the course that you just bought from the website using the code Valentine's, and you ask, and then let's say, for example, you bought the uh, Sky Replacement Workflow Bundle, then automatically it will tell you which course you can have for free. You just choose and you enter this little simple code and you send and you will get the course for free in exchange. So you buy one course and you get one for free and that's for four days uh, to celebrate Valentine's. Okay, so now to get the raw file of what we're gonna be doing, just make sure you sign up to my newsletter and here we go. Let's go and do this tutorial. Now, I'm going, this is a very special one because this is one of my favorite photos of Paris. And, um, well, it doesn't seem like anything right now, but it was, uh, I don't know, I just love this photo. This is an area in Paris uh, uh, close to where I used to work in the past that when I was studying photography. I think I took this photo uh, in uh, 2007, yeah. And uh, it's, a little, um, it's a little river. It's called the uh, KJ Map, and it's, uh, they have this very old bridge and old bricks. And I wanted to make something there. But you see, one of the hardest things we do in photography is to get one message across. And sometimes you have to erase elements, which is one of the main features of this tutorial, to get what you want. So this is just a raw file right out of the camera. I'm going to do a little bit of retouching on it. I'm going to do what? I'm going to open up the shadows at 100. And I'm going to bring down the highlights. This you know by now. And then I'm going to press the Alt key and do my white point until I get some white. And I'm going to do my black point. Okay, so far so good. Now the color is very important. On this one, uh, I'm going to, I think I'm going to go to uh, to daylight. Yeah, or maybe, yeah, no. Make it a bit blue and a bit more green. A bit more greenish, something like this. Usually I don't like to go so much toward the greens, but on this one I think it works. Um, I'm going to add some clarity and I'm going to add some vibrance. Okay, now we start to get this feeling, you know, it's right when the, the city light went on. I love the feeling, but the whole photo is crooked. So let's go, let's go to the twist. Let's go to the lens correction and do auto lens correction. Uh, that really didn't work well. Okay, let's try it again. All right, let's try level. Okay, it's not wanting to do a good job. Vertical. Okay, I don't like that. So I'm going to enable profile correction, remove chromatic aberration, and then I'm, I'm going to go to manual. And I'm going to rotate this photo. It's funny because the first time I tried it, it did a good job. So I'm just going to rotate the photo like this. Voila. And that's about, yeah, that's how I want it to look. And then I'm going to take the crop tool and I'm just going to crop it exactly like I want. Now, one of the key things in photography is to erase what is not communicating your message. Well, this is not communicating my message, these white lines here. So I'm just going to crop it out. Boom, crop it out. Now this, I cannot take out right now 
because um, because I want to get some of this structure, but I don't like that, and I don't like this garbage scan at all. I really, do, you know, it just bothers me. Okay, so that's something like that. Now we're starting to get somewhere. There's also uh, this I don't like so much. You know what? I think this one I'm going to crop out. Okay, crop out, crop out, crop out, and um, maybe I'm going to do some post crop vignetting, and uh, yeah. Maybe add a bit more clarity and a bit more vibrant to get it even more punchy. I like the feeling that there is to it. And yeah, I'm going to do that. And, uh, you know, add a bit of a uh, red roll filter. Okay, so I'm just adding a red roll filter. I'm pre pressing reset to reset everything. I'm going to make this brighter. Invert the mask so that the light is only there. And feather it out so that it's very subtle. It's just to, you know... I'm trying to basically dodge some part of the photo. So I'm going to duplicate it by right clicking. I'm going to put it on this wall. This one, I'm going to make it less. Okay, I'm going to duplicate it and put it here as to, you know, add more emphasis to that light. Maybe add a bit of more, you know, yellow and red. And then I'm going to duplicate this one, you know, and add this here. Okay, and then I'm going to duplicate this one and I'm going to put it in there, make it small. With the Alt key, you can just take any of the right filter and, you know, and bring it on. And I'm just going to light this thing up here with adding a lot more light. Okay, and adding a bit of yellow and red to it. So put the light back on, you know. Check it out. Before the right old filter, after, you know, just adding some drama. We're standing, actually, I made a black and white version of it that I really love. I don't, I just love the composition, but I hate that garbage can and I hate this graffiti there. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to open up in Photoshop. So right click, edit, edit in Photoshop Adobe CC. All right, so I'm in Adobe, Adobe Photoshop CC and I want to show you a couple of, uh, you know, things to um, to get your message across and erase unwanted elements. The man on, on, on the bridge is kind of fine, but oh, I'm sorry. Let's use the move tool. But the graffiti, so the graffiti, oops, not the move tool. What am I doing? Uh, the hand tool. <laughs> I'm mixing up between Premiere and Photoshop. Okay, this uh, is going to be very easy to take. So I duplicate the, the layer so I can show you on, the own, on its own layer what it's doing. So on this one, I'm probably going to use just a spot hitting brush tool and I'm going to go stroke by stroke. I'm not going to do it. I find that I get a better result if I do it bits by bits. And uh, it, it makes the sum of the structure is becoming a little bit blurry when you do that. So sometimes you have to take the stem tool, the stem tool, which is here. And you know, like here, it's a little bit blurry and you can just... You know, it's pretty random uh, texture, so you can just copy and paste that there. And uh, that, maybe paste that just here, something like that. Okay, but that did a good job. You know, that's pretty easy. It's always easy to take something out when there is a lot of texture on it. But when we come to this, uh, the problem is that there is texture all around it, but not here. This is a complete different fitting. And there's a wall here. And I want to take this out and this out. And I actually don't like even this white thing. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to... Um, I'm going to first take this one out. This one's going to be easy because there is texture everywhere. Uh, so I'm just going to click here. So this is how the stem, to stem tools work. You press the Alt key and you've got a source point. So for example, I'm going to take this line as a stable data. I'm going to click on it. And then as I move my cursor, I can see a preview of what I've clicked on. Okay, now I'm going to I click and I'm going to drag down, drag down one time and release my mouse. And then I'm just gonna go back up and I'm gonna do the same thing again. Up and down. Okay? Now, of course it looks kind of weird because we've got two lines, but it still is, you know, it still is nicer than uh, than what it was, you know? So we just have this line which is doubled and we have this texture which is double. So then I'm, I'm, I'm moving a lot more. Uh, I still have my stem tool. I make my stem tool smaller by using the Alt and Control key together and move, moving my mouse. Okay, and I'm going to copy some of that texture here just to make it more random. Some of that texture here just to make it more random. Okay, same thing here. I'm going to copy some of that texture and put it here so that it doesn't appear to be copied. Okay, 
but that's still very easy. Now, when we come to this part, it's kind of hard because if I try to use a stem tool, let me show it to you. If I try to use stem tool, you know, the problem is I've got the wall here and it's just going to cut off, cut off the wall. We don't want that. So command Z to undo one time, command alt Z to undo a second time. So I find this a bit harder to do uh, when you have that. So, oh, let me do a, a better job here to take off the second line. Sometimes it's good to take, you know, an external viewpoint. Uh, you know, this line is too strong, so I want to make it a bit less. So maybe here, take some of that texture there. Uh, yeah, I just want to break a little bit the textures. Yeah, that's kind of cool. Maybe take that out. Uh, that here. You know, just mi mixing things up. You know, check it out. Before, after. Before, after. You can't, you know, it's very random. Nobody's going to notice that something happened here. Okay, now this is the trick. I call that the protective, uh, protective erasure technique. Yeah, I just invented that. So for this, I'm going to take the pen tool. And I'm going to make a selection. The pen tool is here. Uh, I'm going to zoom in at 1 or 200%. 200% is good. P for pen tool. And I'm just going to follow the structure of the wall here. And I'm getting a little bit into the matter. And I'm trying to protect the wall uh, from the barbaric uh, cloning I'm about to be doing. Now, I usually take a bit more time to do that. Uh, but th that's kind of fine. So I want to protect this. So I'm going to make a rough selection. Okay, uh, something like that. Boom. Okay, right click, make selection, and I'm going to make it feather one pixel. Now, you see, now I have an active selection. And so if I take the stem tool and make it very big, and I press the alt key to take that texture, and I want to, uh, I'm going to click, like, okay, let's do here. I'm taking this, all right, check this out. I'm clicking and I'm going down with my mouse, okay? And I do it again. You see, it's protecting the texture. Now, what happened is it, it didn't do anything. I, if I click here and I, I try to stamp out of the section, it doesn't do anything. So check it out, Command D to unselect. Look at this, it did a pretty good job because I protected the wall. So the key point here is to protect. And then all I have to do now is randomize again my texture. So that's pretty easy, you know, I zoom out and uh, maybe I take some of this stuff here and put it over there, you know, just to make it a bit more random. And this stuff here to put it inside there, you know, just so that nobody can notice that I did something, you know. And uh, and so graffitis, I showed you how to do graffitis. I, I kind of like some of the graffitis, you know, because it, it does give mood, but a trash can never gives you a mood. A trash can never gives you a mood. Check it out. Before, I took all this trash out and this sign and after. This is one of my favorite shots in Paris. I just love the mood of it, you know, it just, it looks so old and ancient and so much Paris. And I made a black and white version of it that was really pretty cool. Anyway, I'm giving you the raw file so you can try this at home. I would spend a little bit more, you know, on the texture, but you know, you got the concept, you know, that the concept is to protect what you want to raise on and, you know, and so you can uh, erase better and, and, you know, copy all that texture over there. And uh, yeah, love the final result. Uh, give it a try and uh, come to Paris and make amazing photography and check out my Valentine's Day deal. Okay, guys, I hope you like this tutorial. I love this photo and I hope you did learn something and it encouraged you to come to Paris and make some photos or just go to your city and make some amazing harbor landscapes. Thank you very much. Check out my special Valentine's Day deal until Sunday night and I'll see you in the next episode. Au revoir.